In this video, we'll explore how to utilize the built-in version control in Circuit Studio. The first thing needed to do after enabling version control is to connect to or create a design repository for your SVN. This is where your team's documents will be stored. This can be done by clicking on Create New in the Design Repository section within the Data Management folder of the Preferences. After filling out a name and deciding on a repository location, select OK. Now that we've set up our repository, it's time to add our project to version control. To do this, right-click on the project in the Project panel, navigate to version control, and click Add Project Folder to version control. Make a new folder, edit the name, and click OK. From this new dialog, select what files you want to add to version control and press OK. Now, when looking at the Projects panel, you'll see blue crosses. These blue crosses indicate that a file has been added to version control, but not yet committed. So let's go ahead and commit this project. Again, we will right-click, go to version control, and select Commit. Here, we're able to see what is in version control and what is scheduled for addition. Let's write a comment and press OK. Now, when you look at the Projects panel, you'll see all these green check marks. A green check mark means a local copy of the file matches the file in the repository and is up to date. Let's make a change and save. Now that we've changed our design, we see a red exclamation mark. This means the local copy of the file has been modified in Circuit Studio and saved to the working folder. Commit the file to create a new revision in the repository and regain the green check mark. There are also other symbols that you should be aware of. Those can be found in our documentation. To explore the different versions of your design documents, open the Storage Manager under the View tab. Here, you're able to see all revisions and comments for each of the documents in your design. By right-clicking on a single revision, you're able to revert to that state of the design, or if you click on two revisions, you're able to compare both documents side by side. For a more in-depth knowledge on how the Storage Manager works, take a look at our documentation.